Sweetheart. This is Jeffrey, my nephew. My sister's eldest son I've been telling you about. And he'll be staying with us for a while. Hey. Jeffrey? Yes, Uncle. This is my lovely queen, Rita. Nice to meet you, Auntie. Nice to meet you too. Jeffrey, you feel at home? And you show Jeffrey to his room later on. I'll be in my studies because I got a lot of books to take care of. You look so handsome, Jeff. I hope the girls around here will be safe with you. I don't know. Are you shy? Oh, never mind. I will show you to your room and then I'll be back in a letter. Okay, thank you. All right. Thank you. To massage. Massage? Massage the body. Oh. <coughs> well, <coughs> um, it depends. It depends on what. Well... <clears throat> what, what about my uncle? Oh, he's on night shift and will not be back till tomorrow morning. I don't, I don't think it's right to... to... You've said enough. I'm sorry to have bothered you, okay? Um, just go back to bed and have a wonderful night. You should have knocked the door before coming to the bathroom. Really? Don't forget this is my house. And I can enter anywhere, whenever I choose to. Unrestricted. Thanks, please. I want to take my bath. Just go ahead and take a shower. I'm not disturbing you, okay? Go ahead. Come on. Jeffrey. Are you alright? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine, except um, I just want to tell you about Auntie Rita that. Uh, Honey, you're running late. Why waste more time? I 
Um, Jeffrey, don't tell me that your aunt Rita is making you unhappy here. No, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's just, it's just that, uh... Sweetheart, whatever you have to discuss with him can wait. Okay. There's no time. All right. Um, young man, you have a wonderful day. When I come back from work, we're going to sit down over dinner and discuss about whatever that is bothering you. All right? Honey? You make the caviar and chill the ice wine. When I come back, it's going to be ooh la la. <laughs> You're sure you're okay, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm fine. You're fine. It's good. What's the money for? It's for you. Okay, uh, I see. So my uncle gave you the money to give it to me. Your uncle? Well, that means you don't know your uncle that well. Your uncle is a very stingy man. He doesn't part with money easily. My uncle has been very good to me, so I wouldn't be surprised if he asked you to give me this money. I wouldn't be surprised at all. <laughs> yeah, I understand. He's very nice. But I can be better, you know. Whatever you're asking of me is unthinkable. Okay, you're my uncle's wife. I can't do it. It's unthinkable! Jeff, I'll give you more than that. And I'm going to take very good care of you. My uncle has been very good to me. Very good to me. And there is no way I can do what you're asking me to do. It's impossible. I'll rather be found dead. I will not do it. Jeff. It's not that I am a loose woman. It's just that your uncle does not have time for me. I am a woman and my body needs to be touched. Or would you rather want me to go outside when I have someone like you in the house? I don't care. It's not my concern. You want to go out and do your thing, go out and do it. But I know for me, I'm not going to do anything about it. And, and, and sorry, but if, if you continue this way, if my uncle comes, I'm going to tell him what you're doing. Please, I can't, I can't cope with this. What kind of life is this? I'm not sure you'd want to do a thing like that. Don't forget I am his wife. And whatever I say, he will believe me. Yes. What? So, um, tell me, I can see there's something eating you up. You won't, you, you mind telling me about it? I 
I mean, I... I'm surprised. I mean... I can't believe I'm here. With you. I mean... Not that I know you. Um... I just can't understand what I'm still doing here. <clears throat> it was my suggestion that we come here, sit down, just so that you can calm down. Because I didn't like the way you were looking back there, but I guess it was a mistake. My bad. So if I can just have your key, I'll get my things from your car. And then I will leave. Uh, but there's a little problem. Which is? Food. The, f the food we just ate, I don't have money to pay. Can you please pay? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I mean, you've succeeded in making me laugh at least. That's a plus for you. So now you find me funny too. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Sorry. Please. Don't get me wrong. I'm really sorry. I mean, you ushered me in here tried as much as possible to impress me and yet you don't even have any money to upset the bills. Because it was my primary concern that, you know, you get better. Because I, you really didn't look good back there. You're honest. Very honest. I mean, unlike most of them out there. I mean, my ex. I see. You're beginning to open up. That's 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 what I wanted. Uh, I knew how to do with a man. Well, uh, please. Can you sit for a while? Just a while, please. <laughs> You know, I I did want to talk about Tony. I felt like talking about Tony to someone. But I couldn't tell my friends. Not because I don't want to. But because they warned me. But I'll tell you of tomorrow. I mean, I don't know you from Adam. Besides, there's a probability that we might never, ever meet again. Easy. You're so wonderful. <laughs> Thank you very much. And I promise you, I'm going to love you to the end. Tony, I don't believe you. I don't. Why? I promise you, I'm going to love you. And I do. You do? Yes, I do. Then. If you love me that much, you must decide here and now to teach Efrida. You just have to teach her for good, okay? Once you teach Efrida, I tell you, I will open my heart to you. Everything about me will be all yours. I will give you my spirit, soul, and body. I love you so much, Tony. Please, just teach her, okay? All I need is your best. No, just consider Efrida. Serious? Friend, I'm so sorry. It's not what you think. Please. Please, I'm so sorry. Please. And where is he now? 
말 좋아? 나 유키를 미워. This is so not right, man. This is this is so unfair. This is such a sad situation. Please don't cry. I know it's a sad situation. Okay. <laughs> The whole thing happened four months ago. I waited. I waited and waited for two. All I wanted was just for him to come and say, I'm sorry. Just say he's sorry to me. He claimed he loved me so much. But instead, he went and got married to a very woman got to me. No, this this is not fair. It's, it's a very sad situation, honestly. When did he get married? Yesterday. I'll be there. What? No, don't, don't tell me you're still in love with this guy. I'm so confused. What was I supposed to do? What? Go to him, go on my heels and say, honey, I'm sorry, I threw some box of money and I got home and bumped into you and my best friend. How was it my fault? I hate him. It's okay, don't cry. I, I understand what you're going through. But the way you're going about it, you end up hurting yourself more. You would. Thank you. I think I'll just go home and relax. Honestly, I feel like taking my life. Better still, killing them. No, don't, don't say that. That's a stupid talk. It's a stupid talk. You have many more years ahead of you. The best is yet to come. To move on in life because I realize if we resort to vengeance, we will just end up hurting ourselves more than the people want to hurt. So it's simple forget it and move forward. Yeah. Um, which way are you going? Maybe I could drive you off. I don't know where I'm going. Okay, we need to move just that I am not sure where I'm going. I will get my things from your car, hit the road, and wherever night meets me, I sleep. You want to tell me about that? Jeff? Yeah? It's really outrageous that your uncle could believe such a stuff. He believed every single word she said. It wasn't funny. And then he swore not to have anything to do with me anymore. And he just threw me out. Just like that. Hell and damnation. That woman is possessed. But even the annoying thing is my uncle is yet to find out. I, I pity him, really, I do. You, what are you going to do now? I don't know. Um, I'm just going to find somewhere, rest my head. And then think about my future. I don't, I don't know. You know, I could lend you some money to stay in a cheap hotel until you get a job or something. Thank you. I really appreciate it. But no thanks. I mean, I'm not in for charity. <laughs> don't tell me you're a proud man. I'm not a proud man. It's just I don't know you well enough to start taking money from you. <laughs> you're right. But still, I wasn't going to let you stay in a hotel when I have a house. I'm, I'm not going to your house. Don't be stupid. There is nothing you're going to do with that money. Oops. I'm so dumb to even offer you a house when I don't even know you. I... Listen again. Our meeting was not by chance. I believe so much in destiny. Alfreda, I know you're a nice person. I can see you're a nice person and everything, and I appreciate it. But 
what my uncle's wife did to me, it's something that I can't forget. It has really had a negative effect on my perception for women. I don't know how I'm going to cope. Well, welcome to the club, darling. Because I have my own reservations too towards men. Welcome to the club. <laughs> But I like, I like big rooms. Come here. You're welcome to my house. Thank you. Nice place. Um, but I, you know, I still insist. Uh -oh. on... We are through with the male ego. Listen, let me just show you off to your room. Unless, of course, you want to tell me you're a thief. Well, I wish I was. And if I was a thief, there is only one thing that I will steal. Which would be? Your heart. <laughs> That's really unfortunate because I don't have a heart. And you're this kind? Jeff, I'm only trying to be human. Period. Well, don't mind me. My sweet talks is just something I use to say thank you. And get my way around. I'm just silly. Come on, silly. <laughs> All right. I thought you had gone to bed. I'm just relaxing. Tell me, what are your qualifications? Well, I'm a graduate. I'm still looking for a job. You know how it's like with new graduates. It's not easy to find a job. Yeah. And you, what do you do for a living? I'm actually into furnishing. I'm in a partnership with an old friend of mine. We run a furniture company. Interesting. You know, I could... Talk to some of my friends to get your job, if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, I would appreciate that. Okay. Well, I hope you don't mind if I go to bed now. Oh, no, sure, I mean, no problem. Okay. Knocking. Good morning. Can I come in? Come in. The door is open. Wakey, wakey. Good morning, sunshine. Mm -hmm. How are you? Mm -hmm. Well, I know you've been through a lot. I saw you were tired yesterday. Really tired. And I know it's the weekend. Today, so I thought I'd make you breakfast because I know you need some rest. I don't remember any doctor placing me on bed rest. Well, uh, I know you've been through a lot lately, so I just assume you need to rest a little bit. This is so romantic. Romantic? I don't know anything about romance, so I mean, I've never been in love before. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, love. That's one word I hate to remember. I'll be on my way, okay? Enjoy. Meaning? Sorry? Meaning? Meaning? Afrida, you're a nice person, okay? And I appreciate you taking me off the streets and having me spend the night here. I appreciate it very much. But I don't want to be a burden. 
Okay, so I'll be off. No, no. You're not a burden to me. As a matter of fact, I'm beginning to enjoy your company. Something has snapped in me. And I don't want to disappoint you. There's no way you can help me as worse as Tony did. Unless, of course, you intend to rape me. So let's not even talk about that. We, we finished that topic yesterday. Like I told you, my principle is to move forward. All right? Okay, you know what? Fine. I'm not going to hurt you in any way. Just enjoy your meal and I'll be outside. Thank you. Okay? Uh, it, does it taste good? Let me try that. before and I'm not going to play the fool again. The game has just begun. First, let's just find out how rich she is. Certainly not, because if we have, there is no way possible I could have forgotten such a beautiful face as yours. That's impossible, trust me. Thanks for the compliment. You're welcome. Oh! What? My memory. Are you not the girl on the front cover of Vogue magazine, last month's edition? No, tell me you're not the girl. I'll be damned! Tell me you're not the girl! You've got a good sense of humor, trust me. But I'm serious! I'm serious! Really? <laughs> My name is Jessica. Call me that girl. You know, if I am that girl on the front cover of Vogue magazine, then your day is late. <laughs> that is the nicest thing I've heard all day. Yes, the nicest ever. <laughs> you know, um, you look fine. Fine. Thank you, you too. Smashing young man. He's a thief. Who? What? Sorry? The guy. He must be a thief. You want to put that ring on your finger? Right? Make me more of it. Oh! <laughs> I wish I could. But that will be a serious task. I will need to rob a bank with a gang to be able to do that. I wish I could, really. You know what? What? Let me give you a little treat. Let's go in there. Oh, shut up. I don't like the way you're staring at me. How am I staring at you? Like you want to strip me naked with your eyes. Well, um, I wish I could do that. Except you're trying. <laughs> I like you. Why? Well, because you're very blunt. Okay. And it shows confidence. Okay. It's only real men that go for what they want. I am an adventurer. 
does that tell you? <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, it tells me to be careful that you could be a modern day carnival, a man eater. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you for that. <laughs> You're welcome. So, David, tell me, who is the special girl in your life? Um, <clears throat> well, um, I'd rather not talk about her. Why? Because um, I caught him, but he get right in the house. A horse? Yeah, the, the horse happens to be my best friend. I came home that day and she was banging him. I just packed my things and I checked into a hotel. It's a memory I don't want to remember. Sorry about that. It's alright. It's okay. Well, well, well. Am I glad? I'm confused. Glad about what? You know, if you had not caught your girlfriend by the house, perhaps I wouldn't have been opportuned to meet you. Well, true. Um, but uh, in order for us to move forward, we will need to learn to forget about things. Yeah, you true. Um, yeah, so I'll see you around. Okay, I'll see you around. So am I free to call you at any time? Yeah, sure. Anytime, any day, whenever, wherever, you know. But you can call me every other minute. I don't mind. Deal. Um, I have been heartbroken for too long, and I think I need a little excitement. Oh, yep. so do I. <laughs> I'll see you around. Okay, be good. Oh my god, oops. Jeez. I am so excited, I feel I'm dripping. Welcome, sir. Yeah. I'll be there. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm about to have me some fun up in this town. Damn. Later. I got this. Thank you very much. Hope you like it. Wow. Amber. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Smells good. Smells wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. But seriously, for those other things, you only shouldn't have brought that. I mean, I've just... The last time I checked your storeroom, it was empty. Okay. Virtually empty. <laughs> you win. I've just been a bit busy, that's all. Well, I'll get those stuffs inside and get you something to eat. Right on. Thank you. Thank you.
You are here, honey. <laughs> Do you know I was just telling Philip that if you get to know that uh, I will be attending another political party meeting this evening, that you will feel very angry. Is this your best way to inform me that you're off to sleep with your concubine? Oh, come on, honey. That is not just that. Don't feel that way. All right? You know, all this is for our own good. Okay? As uh, an aspirant, Senator aspirant for that matter, anything that my party wants me to do, I will do. I mean, if they seek my permission to attend any meeting, I must be there for them. To the detriment of our happiness? For God's sake, Madoka, you sleep out of this house four times in a week. You hardly spend time with me or eat my food. It's always one political party or the other. For God's sake, I am your wife! Oh, yes, my love. You are my wife. And that is not in dispute. Like I said earlier, all this is for our own good. Now, let me ask you this simple question. Wouldn't you like to become the wife of a senator of this federal republic? Or better still, let me reframe it. Wouldn't you want to be a wife to one of those movers and shakers of this great country? Think about that. I am working hard to become one. I am an adventurer. Good. I like beautiful things. I like going to places, but most importantly, I desire to be with my husband. Don't you get it? Very correct. Very correct. But you see, I pray you give me this last chance. You never can tell. You see, already you've enjoyed my hard work. I mean, you have good home. Good cars, good jewelries. Mention it. Please. I have this opportunity. Maybe a lot of better things will roll in. Okay? Now give me that your charming smile that always ushers in luck. Come on. Give it to me. That's my baby. That's my baby. God bless you. Hmm? Let me attend this one. Maybe, perhaps, no other one. Right? Can I go now? Come on. Okay. I hope that this driver is. Uh, uh, take care of us. Bye, guys. Uh, I love you. Guess what? Guess what? What? He's gone. Really? Why are you sounding like this lately? I have a couple of things running through my mind. <laughs> with my love, she had problems with me. I'm not just in the mood. Please. What, 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 what is the matter? Is it that you don't want me any longer? Philip. Has it ever crossed your mind that what we've been doing for the past two years is wrong? It is called adultery. B. Why, why are you sounding like this? Perhaps I'm beginning to feel guilty over what I've been doing to my husband. Adultery. I know what the problem is. Problem is, you're just jealous that I'm planning to get married. But I'm still there for you. 
Philip, I want you to leave. You, you can't just say that. See, if you wanted to call off the wedding, I would definitely do that for you. Call off your wedding? Yes. <laughs> Philip, I am happy that you're getting married. A piece of advice to you. I want you to stick to your wife and stop sleeping with another man's wife, especially your bosses. Just go, leave now. If I can't have you completely, then I might as well go for another. Coming here crying like a baby. Hello, stranger. Hi, handsome. Am I disturbing anything? Like what? You know, you know how it is. A young, handsome man like you should have someone there with you. Yeah, right. You have no idea what I've been going through. I mean, since I last saw my ex with that guy, it's the idea, the thought still haunts me. Just, just move on with your life, okay? She doesn't deserve you. I know, but I get lonely. What do I do? Yeah, yeah, I know. I just wish I could come over there, you know? Chat with you, make you feel happy. Yeah, I wish that I wish you could do that. But you have your husband to take care of. Oh, please. Which husband? A husband that hardly stays at home? Oh, please, I have my own life to live, okay? Uh, all I need to do is just do anything that will make me happy. Okay. So tell me, what makes you happy? Just say it now and I will just do it for you. Promise? I promise I'll do it. Okay, all I want to do is to be around you. Hello? Hello? I can hear you. Are you with someone? No, there's nobody with me. But I heard a knock. I know, but that's the room service, room service. Okay, but you didn't answer my question. That's because I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Listen, um, Yusuri, I, I need to call you back, okay? Let me just answer the door, I'll call you back, all right? Okay, okay, no problem, lovey. Talk to you later, okay? Come in. <sighs> Were you on the phone? No. I was on the phone. I was just rehearsing, you see. I want to be an actor. What do you think? Rehearsing? Yeah. Martial arts. Yeah. Ooh. Well, dinner is ready. Alright. I'll be right out. He is playing hard to get. 
but I'll get him. I always do. Philip will become history. But come on, I've tried for him. Obviously, you couldn't remember fainting in front of a supermarket a couple of hours ago. Uh, I just can't remember anything. <laughs> I know. Well, you came out from the supermarket and you, you, you were looking kind of worried and, and troubled. And you were even on the verge of breaking down, like crying. And the next thing I saw within a twinkle of an eye, you, you just slumped and passed out. And I was so scared and, and afraid and I just rushed you here. But tell me, young man, what is the problem? I mean, what, what, what's, what's, what's on your mind? What's going on? Who are you? A doctor? Uh, no. A concerned citizen. And you, you brought me here? Yes. Thank you very much. You're welcome. It's okay. But you still haven't answered my question. I I went for a job in Tabi. In fact, for the past three years after I finished school, I've been going from one job in Tabi to the other. And this other one now came up. I was so optimistic I was going to get the job. Not only for them to tell me that they're not employing people any longer. And I fasted and prayed for this particular one. I just got tired. I, I just went blank. I, I, I was just tired of living on earth. Hey, it's okay. Calm down. Okay? Calm down. Um, you know, there is one thing about this life. Life itself is mean and wicked. For a young man like you to be able to make it in life, you should be determined and focused. Okay? Um, if I may ask you, what is your discipline in school? I studied marketing. Oh, marketing. Okay. Well, I, um, I would do my best to help you out. Not promising anything, but I will help. But you, you've done enough. <laughs> Come off it. It's okay. Thank, thank you very much. Good day, madam. Hello. Madam. I just came to thank you. Your, your husband has just employed me. Madam, God will bless you. God will really bless you. Thank you very much, madam. Philip. There is no need to thank me. Stand up. I am glad that you are happy. Madam, I'm not just happy. Very, very excited, madam. Very, very. Sit. Come on. What is wrong with you, sir? That don't bite.
You're a very handsome man. Do you know that? Thank you, madam. But madam, you know now, I know I'm a handsome man. But madam, you being handsome without money, you're like a dead man walking. You are wrong there. Very wrong. If you know how to use what you've got, then you can have anything you want. Anything. No. Philip. Madam. You know I asked my husband to fire his personal assistant just to hire you. Thank you, madam. It's okay. okay. Are you ready to do whatever I ask of you? No, oh, madam. Anything you ask of, just ask. I'm at your service. I will do it. I will do it, madam. Mm. Anything? Anything, madam. Anything. <sighs> okay. Let's start by you dropping the madam thing. Call me Jessica. Okay. Okay, 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 Madam Jessica. I want you to come on top of me. Madam, I, I, I can't. I... What did you just say? No, nothing, Madam, nothing. <laughs> hmm. Philip wants to get married. Let's see how it goes. Life has been good. Very, very good. I'm living in my own house. Not a rented apartment. Two sweet cars to go with. And also, I have invested wisely. But, I didn't make it just by my salary. I made it because Jessica is in love with me. Now, now she's suddenly behaving funny. I want to settle down with the one I love. She's in for a surprise. She can't get rid of me. She still remains my meal ticket. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm okay, baby. What is it? What's the problem? <sighs> baby, I'm to be your wife. And you have no reason to hide anything from me. So what is it? Babe, I'm not hiding anything from you. I'm not at all. Has it got to do with your job? My job? No, no, no. My job is perfect. You see, the fact that is, um. Once in a man's life, you have to start thinking on how to protect your meal ticket. That's exactly what I'm doing. Okay, you know what? Don't worry, alright? The Lord is your strength. Okay? So, how are you doing? I'm okay. So, what are you preparing? Guess what? Alright. Like your favorite. Oh my God. 
Jeff. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. How do you mumble? I'm fine. I just had a nightmare. What time is it? It's 7 a.m. Oh boy. Sorry about your nightmare, but I'm off to work. I'm not used to such luxury, you know. You're spoiling me. I'm glad that you're happy and relaxed. You overfed me. I'm sure that's why I had that nightmare. <laughs> but you're a terrific cook. Thank you. Maybe I'm beginning to get used to the fact that there's a man in the house. That's nice. Wait a minute. I thought you said you hated men. Jeff, I um I see you as a brother. You smell good. You smell good. Sis. Thank you. I I wanted to know what you're going to be doing today. I think much. Don't think much anything specifically. I was just going to town. And you know, move around and see what's up. Nothing really. Well, I'm going to try using my contacts to get you a job. Thanks, I appreciate that. I, um, I mean, you should, um, use this and stay out of trouble. It's for me? Yes. All of this? All of it. Thank you. I should leave now. Can I give you a pack? Just a pack. I'll see you later. Careful. 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 Jessica, huh? you've been behaving very funny lately. Is anything the matter? How am I behaving? I'm just being myself. You're not just being yourself. See, I know something is wrong somewhere. And if it's my fault, just let me know. I'll definitely correct it. Philip, I wish you well in life. Like I told you earlier on, I want to pay more attention to my husband. You want to pay more attention to your husband? Yeah. What, what, what about me? Huh? Don't you have any feelings for me again? You have a woman in the house. Go take care of your wife. Let's see. Jessica is... is Philip, we have a flight to catch. Uh, honey? Yes, baby. I hope you won't miss me so much. Mm -hmm. eh? Never mind, uh, I've only got a few days to spend, right? Uh, actually, sir, uh, Madame was just telling me that uh, she would have loved to join us to Abuja, but you did not invite her. Really? Yes. Ah, sweetheart. Yes. I thought you do not have uh, any interest in my political ambition. Um, I can always change my mind, can't I? Oh, why not? You can, and you will always be welcome. So, what do we do? Wait for her to pack her couple of things? Oh, never mind. I'll join you on your next trip. Oh. Alright. 
still okay. Let's go then. One minute, I forgot my plan upstairs. And what was that all about? See, Jessica, you know this Abuja we're going to. Prince will be having a series of meetings. You understand? And I just wanted us to have time for ourselves. Don't ever play such pranks with me again or you will regret it! He played a joke I didn't like. Yeah, yes, Chief. Philip, sir, you joke with my wife? Sir, sir not, not, not that kind of joke, sir. <laughs> I'm sorry, Philip. All right, madam. It's all right. I thought we were good friends. We are very good friends. Good. Friends don't fight. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's go. just awarded us the contract of supplying them with furniture for their newly completed business complex. We are rich. What is it? Come off it, girl. I know you better than that moron who cheated on you and ended up marrying the wrong girl, so don't tell me that. Let's forget about my mood and talk about business. So what's that you're holding? A picture I want to get rid of. going to continue killing yourself over this comeback of a guy. This piece of shit called Tony. Girl, you know he's not worth the trouble. I know. You know what you need? You need excitement. Honestly, some new guy, a Prince Charming, to make you stop sharing all the stress you're sharing now. I think I found the right person, but I'm too proud to admit it. Wow, you have someone and you've not told me about it. Girl, I'm not leaving this office until you tell me about him. You know I like working out myself, except I'd rather do it in a bedroom with a beautiful lady like you. <laughs> oh god baby, you just sick, you know that. Sick, yeah. That's why I chose to call it my first name. Sick David. <laughs> <sighs> You've got a good sense of humor. You know that, huh? Thank you. And now that you mentioned it, I will just give it a serious thought. To give what a Being a comedian, you know, putting a smile on your face whenever you're feeling down, keeping you happy, stuff like that. <laughs> oh my god, you're just a whack. You just went out and leave my hands on you. I'm gonna. I'll kiss you. What? I said, when I lay my hands on you, I will kiss you. 
and I won't just end it there. I will run my tongue between your boobs, down to your belly button, and eventually... David, where are you? I'm counting my losses. So what do you say if I want you to join me? Never mind, don't get carried away. She's a super snob. What does that mean? Who, who are you? My name is Jukes. I come here regularly. I saw the way you were staring at her. I do the same each time I come over here. And no one has arrested me for appreciating God's handiwork. That's a good one. That's a good one. I get what you mean. That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> so who is she? Oh, her name is Zena. And I learned the family is into shipping and oil business. You're kidding me. Thanks for the information, man. Ah, you're welcome. I appreciate it. Yeah. You're the man. This married woman is excited about you. Okay. And is she going to prove it? Oh, you want me to prove it, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to take you to my house. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, my husband is not around. Mm -hmm. He can't. And my house help will mind your business. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> come on. So you're telling me that you're actually living with this guy? Yes. Okay, okay, yes, but I'm scared. I mean, I don't know you from anywhere. You just trusted him like that. <laughs> what? Listen, I've read a lot of novels. Okay, but I've not come close to this. What you just said is the most fascinating romance novel I've ever read. So girl, Who's the author? <laughs> Whoa! Hey, hey. Wait, seriously? I mean, honestly, you don't think I'm making this up, do you? No. But you know what I think? That you need to see a psychiatrist. Because it's so obvious that the trauma of what you've been through is affecting your head. No, Yinka. I'm fine. Honestly, I'm perfectly fine. I've never been better. Jeff is real. Believe me. You know? You're even more daring than I was willing to give you credit for. God! Picking up a guy from the street? That is beyond the limits. I think it's God's wish, Nika. Come on, girl. I wasn't thinking when I made the decision. I wasn't even looking back. I just decided. <laughs> like that. Oh, honey. Sometimes we mistake the devil's intentions as God's wish. <laughs> well, this time it's my wish because I'm not going to change my mind. Come on. He's so charming. Okay. Let's just do it this way. If this Jeff is going to treat you right, make you happy, good. But if he dares make you sad for even a man, then you know what I'll do? I'll skin him alive. <laughs> Shall be no skinning anybody alive whatsoever. But cheers. Not because you want to skin him alive, but because you're on my side. All right, all right. So tell me, 
Have you guys done it yet? Don't! Oh my <laughs> god! Look! Oh! Do what? No. How did we become friends? Okay, then why are you waiting for? Just make it happen. Get it done. Let's get the details. Welcome to my trip. Nice. It's a beautiful place. I like it. Thank you. Anyways, you brought me here because you wanted to keep a point. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm waiting for what's the point. Somebody's here. Somebody's here. Somebody. Jen? What are you doing here? I'm sitting the table. Drop that thing and get out. Please. Come back here, Jane. Yes, ma'am. The next time you will come in here without knocking, you will lose your job. I'm sorry, ma'am. Now go back to your quarters. Yes, ma'am. Come back here. By the way, this is my cousin. Before you go out there, run in your mouth. Get out. I'm sorry about that. It's okay. It's all right. So where were we? Hmm? Let's go to the bedroom. Upstairs? Yeah. I'm leaving the bed. You've been there. Behaving funny, sweetheart. What's wrong? You know, I do it. There comes a time in a woman's life when she must open up. Open up? About what? You see, I don't doubt the fact that you love me. But there's one thing. I want to know whether you still love me if you get to know the truth about me. You're speaking in parables. Are you saying I didn't even know you? But please, just promise me that you love me no matter what you get to know about me. Please. I promise. I'd even cross my heart. My name is not Zena. And I don't come from a wealthy family. I come from a very poor background. Are you acting a script or are you telling me the truth? Edward, I have grown to love you and I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I want you to know the truth about me. So, where have you been getting all the money you've been spending? Edward, I've been doing a lot of things, you know. I've been into a lot of things. All the money Everything I own comes from men. Tell me this is not true. Edward. Edward, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I don't want to go on with my false life. Please. See? Let's not beat around the bush. I was really looking forward to meeting your so-called rich parents. And now that I know the truth, Let's just call it quits. Edward, 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 does it mean you don't love me anymore? Baby, only fools fall in love. Edward, Edward, please don't do this to me, Edward! This time around, it's a strictly business between me and me.
<laughs> Gosh, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, God. You. Uh huh. You are a woman eater. Is that right? <laughs> God, where do you get your energy from? From being with a beautiful woman like you. <laughs> Thank you. Come here, you. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. No, I am done. Yeah? Oh. Agreed. You are the best, no doubt. But I am done. <laughs> okay. I understand, but um, I just want you to know that I had a wonderful experience with mm-hmm. you. Say that. That's okay. I'll be right here. Anytime you need me, you know where to find me. <laughs> What do you mean? You... You've never bothered to ask me what do I do? You know, for a living? What am I into? Oh. I'm so sorry. It's alright. It's okay. So tell me, love. What are you into? I mean, what do you do? Um... When I decided to walk away from my ex, everything of mine was taken away. You know, um, I, I, I was waiting for her father. When I packed my things that I was leaving, he took my car, froze my account. Basically everything I was able to acquire within the period. And it's been so difficult making ends meet since. You know? So. How do you intend to pay your hotel bills? Um, friends. Friends help me out. You know, pay my bills every now and again. Thing is, I'm just tired of begging. You know, I'm tired of living from hand to mouth. So I've decided to just go down to Port Harcourt. You know, be at my mother's end till something comes up. I mean, I could get a job. Something could happen. So, what happens to me? To us? I I don't know. I haven't really thought about it like that. But, I mean, I could raise some money, you know, and whenever I can afford it, I'll come down, call you up, you know, and then we hook up. It it won't take long. I'll, I'll raise the money in no time. Okay? David? Yeah? I can make you very comfortable. Mm -hmm. But there's a problem. Then what is that? I am a very jealous lover. And I must not see you with another woman. It's not a problem. Yeah, you know? <laughs> big deal. Hey, it's no biggie. Don't. Okay. You know? Oh, right. So you don't want to consider another round? a joke. Hi, I'm Jeffrey. Everybody calls me Jeff. Okay. Sis, you look tired. Oh, I'm, I'm fine. How was your day? Ah, not bad. Wonderful. Just 
hanging around doing nothing and looking at the town, That's you know. Cool. And who is this pretty face? Ah, part of my manners. Um, Yinka, this is Yinka, my colleague, my, my partner, <laughs> sorry. And this is Jeff, Jeffrey. Jeffrey? Jeff. <laughs> Hi, lovely name, pretty face. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Both of you look very hungry. I just made dinner. I hope you will be joining us. Oh, of course, you <laughs> will. Yes. No, no, no. You, you will like my food. Everybody likes my food. You know, so just, you know, I'll... Let me help you. It's okay. It's all right. Stay here with your friend, your partner. You had a rough day, okay? Let me take care of you. All right? I'll call you when I'm ready. Thank you. Who's this guy? Who's Oh, you don't get come here yet. Honestly, Jeff, I must remain. This is really, really good. Thank you. Sis, do you like it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Excellent. My mom. My mom is calling me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Now, mom. I know. You're my baby. That's why I'm your mom, right? Sure. <laughs> That's so sweet. Honey, I'm missing you already. I just don't know why you left. I know, but we, we have more days ahead of us. I know, baby. I just wish you were here before. Can I come to your hotel? What are you doing here? I just served dinner. No, 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 sorry, darling. I wasn't talking to you. Why do you like sneaking around like a thief? I'm sorry, ma. I just want to inform you that your dinner is ready. I am not hungry. Now retire to your quarters at once. Yes, mother. <laughs> Hello. I was sorry about that, baby. So answer my question. Listen. We will have time for all of this, okay? Just be patient. Okay. All right. No hard feelings. I'll wait. I'll try as much as possible to hold myself. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye, Mom. I love you, Mom. Bye. Bye, darling. <laughs> oh, jeez. This guy is killing me, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. That was my mom just going on and on about her son. You know, mothers. Yeah. Did I miss something? Oh, no. Come in. Hi. Hi. Um. Wouldn't mind if I disturb you, would you? Definitely not. What is it? Um, I was kind of lonely in my room and I was wondering if I could share your bed with you. Um, well, I. N never mind. Um, I mean. Never mind. I just thought we could share a bed. I didn't mean anything else. Sorry. Elfrida. Elfrida! Let Elfrida! Elfrida! Elfrida. 
What's the matter? Huh? Tell me what is it? You didn't even give me the chance to respond and you just snapped it right away. Alfreda, please. <laughs> Alfreda, I'm not okay with this. Uh, this is what the two of us have been planning together. You and I. Inga, please. I'm not in the mood to talk. Just go for the meeting alone. Please. Please. I should go alone. Thank you very much. How are you? Good. Mm. Yes, is she expecting you? Yeah. She knows I'm coming. But I'm not well. She didn't tell me that any person is coming to check on her. So what is that supposed to mean? That I can't go in? Jane? Ma? What are you doing there? Where is the gateway? He has not been feeling shot. And you feel you can go to my gate? Will you get your miserable body back to your quarters? I'm sorry. Secondly, my husband will soon be back, and we can't continue meeting here until I think of how to introduce you to him. Okay, I, I understand you. I know what you mean. I understand. Okay. Then, um, have you thought of any business you would like to go into? Well, um, not like that. I haven't really thought about business like that, no, not really. Okay. But, uh, I mean, I could think I could give it a thought. Yeah. I want you to give it a thought. Huh? Okay. You know, when you think of something to do, it, it makes one be independent. You know? Right. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> so, I, I mean, I will think about something. I mean, okay. I know it would just snap to me like that. Yeah, and it, make it fast. I mean, if you want me to think about it, yeah, I will. Make it fast, and when you do, you tell me, and I will finance it. Meanwhile, before you go, I'll be giving you five hundred thousand naira to settle your hotel bills because I don't want excuses each time I want to meet you. Okay. Right. <laughs> no excuses when you want to meet me. Good. That's nice. Thank you. One more thing. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. You know, I wouldn't want my lover to be seen jumping from one taxi to another. So, I have a surprise for you. You you have you you, wait, you have a surprise? Yes. Let's see it. Where is it? You're looking for me here? I don't know. <laughs> Give me a sec. I'll be right back. Okay.
I had it delivered this morning. It's all yours. <laughs> Here. Who wants to have this? Who wants to have this? It's going, it's going. It, I got it, I got it. <laughs> oh, sweetie. I, I'm, I'm mesmerized. I don't know what to say. Yeah. Then, say nothing. Okay. Okay, but I could do something. <laughs> you know, I just want you to be happy. I want you to tell me how much I care about you. You sure you're not kidding me? You're not kidding me with this car, right? You're not. Search me. Do I look kidding? Let me just. <laughs> no, let, let me. Let me just. Let me let it sink, right? Mm -hmm. Go on. <laughs> you have all the time. This is the. the uh, let me see. Uh. <laughs> okay. I like it. Mm. Mm -hmm. I know you like it. It's as beautiful as you want. Don't even start. Okay? So, are we gonna have a drive? I figured you will need this. You are very pretty, you know. I'm sure you've been told several times. You know what? I'd like to be alone if you don't mind. Well, if only you can explain to me why you appear in my dreams. For God's sake, is that supposed to be a joke? I wish it was, but it's not. You know what? I don't even know you. Yes, you do. We've met twice already. You do know me. Really? Yeah. I must 
must have made an impression for you to see me in your dreams. These things happen. Call me Romeo. And I know you are Zainab. And did you get to know my name in your dream? It's like that. Anyways, I'm sure I'll pass across again. Meanwhile, enjoy. Sorry to disturb you with your stock balancing. Are you in the mood to talk now? Yes, of course. Why not? How did the meeting go? Oh, great. The bank is willing to finance the project. You know, just that the percentage is quite high. Well, that wouldn't be a problem. I can actually source for finances, so you could just forget them. Hmm. You know, I like it when you're very determined to work. It means good result. Yenka, I have nothing other than my job. Don't you think I should be able to do it well? Yes, I presume. How is Jay? He should be fine. Okay. I ran into Mr. Njoko on my way here. It seems his firm is recruiting new staff and I thought I'd mention it to you. That's really thoughtful of you. I, I'm going to talk to him to know if he's interested. Are you alright? You can come fine. What do you want to hear? Listen, Jeff is just somebody I want to help. There's nothing going on between us. Nothing whatsoever. Nothing. You know your happiness is most important to me. Thank you, my dear friend. I do appreciate it very much. Very well. I'll let you to continue with your work. Thank you. Jeff, 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 that's all I think of. Pompous idiot. Fine boy, my ass. Uh, madam, uh, are you talking to me? You know what, just concentrate on your driving. Okay, madam.
Zainab, you kept me waiting. Chief, I'm sorry. I went for a swim. Where? Does it really matter? Let's go in first. I heard you swim in a hotel. Is it true? Perhaps. Zainab, you really can afford to expose this your body to the public. All in the name of swimming. My body, you just said. It also belongs to me. After I spent so much money towards its maintenance. Chief, I can see you're in a very foul mood. I'll ask you to leave this very moment. Well, Zainab, you can afford to sound the way you're sounding. After all, you've kept me here waiting for long. But I don't want you to go there anymore from now on. Okay? Okay, then why don't you buy me a new house with a swimming pool so that I wouldn't have to go anywhere to swim? Maybe you think I, I mean money. Chief, you like what you see, don't you? It takes money to look good and to live well. Let me relax with you while before I leave. Chief, I'm sorry, I'm not in the mood. What was it you said yesterday? Chief, if you know you want to relax, why don't you go to your wife? Zaina, I gave you a woven sum of two million naira a few days ago. And look at the way you're talking to me. Is it right? Chief. I have had men deposit over 10 million naira in my account even without seeing me. You're going to regret this, I assure you. Excuse me. Chief, I'm used to threats. I'm not scared of you. <laughs> Stupid man. Because of 10 million naira, you think you can just come and stand here and make rubbish? Continue working in this house. Don't ever open the gate for the chief again. Do you hear me? God bless you, ma. But excuse me, madam. I think so. Now in your guard for Masters, if you ever open the gate for him again, you're fired. Do you hear me? God bless you, ma. Um, but madam, excuse me. Uh, uh, I don't know. I think open gate for other our guys because I got the entire year. They plenty, ma. Madam, even at times. You know what? You're so stupid. Shut up. Talk too much. You see us more than take the alarm this afternoon. What thing happened? We're well, now nah, jump person for her. First us. Hmm? I'm worried. You know what? That big old guy, they give me money almost every day. What? I beg you, no hear me. Shit! Ah, 
This is rather strange. Even though she does not tell me where she goes to oftentimes, but um, she knew that I'm coming back today. Maybe it's network, sir. No, it's ringing. And she's picking it. That's why I'm worried. Um, by the way, call Jane for me. Do you have an idea where your madam went to? No, sir. She left in the morning with her cousin. With her cousin? Yes, sir. Madam said the man with her is her cousin. I see. Very well, then. You will leave. Okay, sir. Philip. Sir. I can vividly recall many times this issue of Cousins, nephews, mention them. The number of times the issue has caused a lot of trouble with my wife in this house. The thing almost ruined my marriage. Don't you care? I understand, sir. I'm telling you all this because I like you and you are very hard working. Thank you, sir. You must learn to cope with women. So that um, when they start their trouble, your marriage will not crash. Okay? Thanks for your advice, sir. Good. You may leave now. Thank you very much. Sir. Your beautiful bride must be expecting you. So go straight home. Okay? Good. Good. My regards to her. Jessica. I hope she does not want to start again today, cousin, tomorrow, nephew, the other day, niece. Let her go and come back. You said Madame introduced the man she went out with as her cousin? Yes, sir. What does he look like? I don't know. He looks like a man to me. What kind of stupid answer is that? I'm sorry, sir. I just that I cannot describe him. Um, have you ever seen him in this house before? Oh guys, Philip, is there any problem? Uh, not, not really. You see, I, I was just trying to find out if truly the man is her cousin. But when you first came, Madame said you were her brother. So you're supposed to know who your cousins are. Okay. I think I'll find out from her. I'm so sorry I missed your call. I didn't see it ringing. Hmm? So, where were you? Honey, I went to my auntie's place. You know, something came up. Oh, God, I'm so tired. Well, it's alright. You're welcome. So, how was your day? Honey, I am so, so tired. Ah, oh, you know how it is, all these people. The family pressure and all that is so much. <laughs> so tell me, baby, how was your flight back? Well, it was fairly okay. Just that uh, the weather wasn't pleasant. Oh. And you know how scary it can be out oh. there. I know, I know how it is. You don't need to tell me. Remember what happened the last time we flew? I know. And you, what are you doing there? Don't you have better things to do? I'm sorry. Jen, you can leave for now, eh? Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. God bless you. Oh, honey, I missed you so much. Yes, um, sweetie, I learned that uh, a cousin of yours came today. Is he someone I know? Um, um, no, no, I, I don't think, I don't think you know him. You know, I don't even know him. 
Yeah, I've, I've never met him. This, this is my first time, you know, meeting him. Um, he's my late auntie's son. The one I told you that got married to an American, remember? Your late auntie? Yeah. I can't remember. I don't think I know such person. I don't think I've met such a woman. Um, oh, God. What is wrong with my brain? Yeah, I, I don't think you, you, you met her before she died. No, you did not. Honey, do you know sometimes I am so worried as in I'm amazed. I don't even know how many we are. Because so many people walk up to me introducing themselves to be one of my distant relations, my sister, my cousin. Oh, God. Honey, it is so much. Sometimes it's so frustrating. But never mind. Uh, on the other hand, I don't blame them. Because if I wasn't married to a rich man, you know they won't remember me. You know now. <laughs> it's alright. Honey, that um, shouldn't bother you so much. Uh, you see... <clears throat> A prayer is that God will continue to bless us. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Uh, I don't know. Um, why don't you join me in coffee? Honey, what is this now? Eh? So you've not eaten anything? Who would be there to cook for me? God, honey, don't worry, baby. I'm here. Yeah? Let me just drop it. I'll make something delicious for you. <laughs> you know me. I am lucky. <laughs> Alfreda, I know you have a lot of things on your mind right now. You, you want me to explain? The car, the late nights. Let's just, let's just start on a smooth note, okay? How was work? Work was good. Okay. You, you look tired. Yes, I am. Are you pissed with me? Why should I be? Come on, Frida. I saw your miss call. I don't remember calling you. Listen. I know I hurt you, alright? And I'm sorry. And I know exactly how you feel. I have to go to bed now. If you're hungry, there's food in the kitchen. And if you want to sleep, your room is always here. live without a man in her life. Her appetite for sex is just too much, too, too much. And that means danger for me. I just have to do something in time before I will just go out of existence like that. Called me, and you know why? Why? She has been delivered of a baby girl. <sighs> so Thank God. Baby, come on. Why are you like this? What is it, man? Just smile. Tell me you're happy. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy. Baby. I'm happy for you. Mm, I'm so happy. I'm happy for you too.
Hello. Hello, sir. Jessica is here to see you. Jessica? Okay, ask her to come out. Okay, sir. Do you know the room number? Sure. Feel free to go in. Thank you. Whoever plays the pipe dictates the tune. lose this contract or something. Where is Jane? The backyard. Okay. Oga Philip, what are you doing here by this time? Knowing fully where that Oga and Madame are now. I know both of them are not around. You see, I came here because of you. Because of me? Um, yes, you see, this is the only opportunity I can have to be with you one on one. One on one. Has it ever occurred to you that I like you so much? Like, 
See, I know you know I want to get married, but you see, it's not working out. You know why? No. Because if I get married to the lady I want to get married to, I'll be making a very big mistake. Yeah. Why are you telling me all this now? See, I've watched you closely. You're a very hard working lady. And that's the kind of woman I want in my life. Thank you. Um, Jeno. Has it ever occurred to you to go back to school? If I have the opportunity. If you have the opportunity. Okay, don't worry, we'll work it out. We? Oui? You see, I want you to take me as a very good friend. You're a very good friend. Eh? No, don't worry, I know you're scared. I know you're scared, but don't worry. When the time comes, I'll tell her girl, madam. Yeah? Jane, Jane. Don't worry, it's okay. Yeah? Sweetie, I need about... 10 million naira to help me start my own business and I can assure you that your money your investment will be intact very profitable because I intend to make you my partner you know what David what? it's not losing my investment that matters most to me what's your problem it's protecting you from other women then, sweetie, then marry me. Just marry me and we can sort all of this out. Prove to me that I can trust you. And I'll give it a thought. Well. Really? I just want you to know that you're very important to me. You're very dear to my heart. And you can always count on me. You know, people around me might think that I am happy in my husband's house. But I'm not. And why is that so? For six years now, I've been married to him without an issue to call my own. Do you know how that feels? And I think it's his fault. I strongly believe that. Just an admirer of God's 
handiwork. You know, whenever I look at you, I just think about creating a new line of clothes and fashion products. What are you into? Well, I'm into... I'm a businessman. I'm into fashion, cosmetics, you name it. So, you own a boutique? No, I'm a designer. You know, I am ready to launch my clothing line and my cosmetic products. Okay, well, you know, I'm sorry. I'm not into modeling. I know. I wasn't even thinking about that. You know, what I'm actually thinking about is creating my clothing line and my cosmetic line after you. Zainab. How did you even know my name? Well, it's like that. You see, when you are interested in something, or somebody for that matter, you take interest in just knowing a lot about the person. Am I correct? <laughs> well, uh, okay, so I'll see you around. personal way that People call people's phone. You know, Yinka, I don't know any Yinka either. The wrong number. I mean, maybe the right thing. Really? Yeah. David? a lot of rest. She has really been through serious stress and depression. Could you tell me something that triggered the shock? Shock? Yes, doctor. Shock. Doctor, I don't know what really happened. Eh, perhaps she has to wake up to tell us herself. She's under seductive for now and antidepressive drugs. We need to observe her for a while. Doctor, please, these drugs, are they going to affect her job? Mm, depends on her. If you ask me, she needs some time off. And someone who is really close really needs to be around to observe her. Alright, doctor. Thank you. She will be okay when she wakes up. Excuse me. I think it's safe for you and I to be saying I'm here like this. Don't worry about that. I can take care of myself, okay? Let's go. I know, I know, but you don't mess things up before we actually get things started. Like I care? I am ready to walk out on my husband like right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't be so sure. We still need your husband. At least we get the business started. When the business picks up. Oh, that. There we go. Okay. I'll be careful. Good. And uh, I don't mean to sound desperate, 
but how do I get the money? Um, just send me your account details and I'll withdraw the money and paste into your account as soon as possible. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> I feel so happy right now. I, I wish I could just kiss you. Know, but I know I can't. Me too, but we don't have to raise an eyebrow, you know that. But even at that, I think I can steal a little bit. The whole house has become so lonely. Oh, no, Elfrida, you've got to stop this. For God's sake, you didn't even know this guy from anywhere. You should be thanking God that he just left the way he came. Inka, you don't understand. No, I don't. But one thing I do understand is the fact that you need to take your medications and have some rest. I'll be fine. So, are you sure you'll be able to stay alone or do I need to sleep over? No, no. Just go home and rest. Inka. Are you certain that you called this number and somebody else paid? Please, sweetheart. You don't need this now. I think I need to go now. See, listen. Don't think that I don't understand. I know what it means for you to have affection for someone and things are turning out this way. But you've got to be strong. Please. Alright. We've got to go now. Ciao. You know, I'm very interested in your line of business, so why don't you tell me more? My line? Did you... Did you mean to say our line? Okay, fine. Our business? Our business. There you go. Our business. You know, like I told you, I want to call it Zainab. You know, I told you that early on. And I can already see it uh, being huge. The name is... Uh, Catchy, it's urban. I see. The... Well, you know what? Let me know. Let me know. Even go into that. I think I like Zainab as a person better. But you hardly even know me. That is the interesting part. You know, you are a very intriguing person. You are captivating. You're gorgeous. You smile. Good. Yeah. Okay. Let me let me put you aside. Can we talk business? Mm. All right. I can see Zainab as a business going far into the future. You know, in the next two years, I can see being so huge, having showrooms in, in the major cities within Nigeria and possibly even na neighboring countries. Maybe we could just start over like three showrooms: one in Lagos, one in Abuja and Ghana, Accra. So Accra, Lagos, Abuja. We can start with these two. And I've already done all the calculations. It will take us, you know, some amount, but we're talking about, about 500 million naira. Should make it all happen. And before you know, boom, it's working, profitable. Say, are you with me? Yeah, sorry. I I was just thinking about what you just said, you know? You keep saying we. Well, I'm also trying to figure myself shuffling between Accra, Lagos and Abuja. But it's thrilling, you know? Thrilling! That's it! You know, you must be thrilled. You need to enjoy what you do to be on top of your game. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm, I'm very fashionable and I'm also into designer clothes and accessories and all of that, so... So I wasn't wrong. I wasn't wrong. Choosing you as my partner. Partner? Yeah! Partner. You're my partner. Partner. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that makes me the CEO and you are... The boss. <laughs> the lady boss, right? <laughs> no, but on, on a serious note, I think maybe one of our first challenges will be to find out what the youth are into. You know, you could do a feasibility studies 
the, the affluent youth, they spend a lot of money on fashion. So we need to find out their style, the, the trendy colors, fabrics that they want to use, you know, stuff like that. That is not you know? a problem because, you know, I've always loved to do stuff like that for my friends. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. So again, partner. <laughs> yes. Uh, but say so, yeah. that. Let's let's talk about you. You know, you as a person. I mean, I'm giving you. Um, I've said a lot of stuff about you, but I want to get to know you some more. But um, can we talk about that somewhere else? Like where? I don't know. <laughs> Perhaps your place. Why not? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Romeo. Welcome to my uh, little house. Wow. Beautiful. <laughs> Lovely. Orange. Orange. My favorite color. Really? You got me. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely as the owner. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, why don't you get a drink here? I'll go inside. I'll be right back. Sure. What are you doing on my bed? I woke up asking myself the same question in there. <laughs> this is crazy. How did it even happen? I don't know. Oh, I can just remember you asking for more and more and more and more. <laughs> I must have been drunk. Yeah, right. Drunk on me, right? <laughs> I feel so ashamed. On the contrary, I feel like excited, you know? I think you were great. You're the best. Well, you know, I think I enjoyed myself. Well, uh, it's a new day. I have to be leaving now. New day full of new challenges. So I'll be seeing you around, okay? Romeo, will I see you again? Why would you even say that? We are partners, remember? You've forgotten so soon. Huh? You see me around, okay? You see me. Okay, let's see. Elfrida, I came to apologize about what happened. No, Jeff. It's not your fault. I was wrong. I mean, I did everything so wrongly, I guess I wasn't thinking right. It's alright, it's my fault. I shouldn't have left the way I did. No, Jeff, it's my own fault. I wasn't bold enough to admit what I felt for you. I feel the same here. I know I do. But I'm not ready to give my heart to a lady. I love you so much. I'm not afraid to admit it. You don't know me. You don't know. I just want to be with you. Am I interrupting something?
Hmm. I know he'll be so excited to know that I've deposited the money into his account. I just want to see the smile on his face. Yeah, I'd like to see David room 101, please. Sorry, Really? What is the problem? You're not looking normal. Emmanuel, I'm not normal at all. Alfreda is a fool. She has ruined a lifetime opportunity that we had because of a man. A man? I don't understand. You won't understand, Emmanuel. Just, just leave it. But just know that we lost a mega contract. You know, a contract that we had to furnish a whole business complex. We lost it. Just go, just so you won't understand. Just, just leave it. It's just unfortunate. Um, I had no idea that you'd be so. Would you have made any difference? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Tell me about this new job of yours that you want to cut your time. You will not believe it. I ran into an old friend and he just introduced me to his boss. The boss sort of, you know, likes me, you know, and he, he just offered me a job on the spot. Give me a car, good position. You will not believe it, it's God sent. I mean, one in a lifetime opportunity. Yeah. I'm really happy for you. Thanks. It's so obvious you're going up. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yinka doesn't like me, right? <sighs> Jeffrey, she's only being protective of me. Besides, my not going to work made us lose a very lucrative contract. It did? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay. Jeff? Any other woman in my life? Who is that? No, I don't have any woman in my life. It's just me, no woman. I'm just trying to be the man. Uh, my family thing I cannot be. I I'm just trying to make ends meet. My family's really, you know, working hard to make sure that everything. Hello. David, where are you? Um, I, I, I'm sorry I left without telling you. But I'll be there soon. I'm on my way back, really. I don't like being kept waiting, okay? Besides, I'm standing in front of your hotel. Oh, okay. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Listen, I, I, have you paid in the, the cash? I, I need to do some rounds in town. I will be there just before you realize it. Yeah, yeah. I paid in the money. I need right now is you. I, I will be there soon. Be before you see, I will just appear. Boom. And I'm on my way. <laughs> Okay, I'm waiting. All the time, he's got a very thin voice. Whenever they hear him, they say, Is he a woman? He's not a woman. Okay, all right. Hmm? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what you're doing, I don't know how you do it, but I'm really not comfortable. And I want you to be so careful. Come on, trust me, trust me, I'm fine. Okay, let me just get back before this man, you know, is a new job. I need to make sure I have everything under control.
Ah, stop calling me that. Huh? Stop calling me that. Anyways, I just got you these things just to let you know that I'm really serious about what I told you the last time. I know your mother won't like it, but I don't give a damn. It's just that I'm worried. Why are you worried? I mean, who am I, eh? How do I know you're telling me the truth? I'm Jane. You see, God works in a mysterious way. And He really wants us to be together. That is why He made me discover that um, the lady I was meant to marry is sleeping with another man. Huh? And I know your madam is doing this thing too. Is she not your sister? I'm Jane. Let me tell you something. That man, your madam introduced to you as her cousin, as her boyfriend. Go huh? for a big bad thing. Hey, no wonder. No, I saw no. them kissing and she even gave him a car. Who told you that? Kanchara told me now. Kanchara told me that madam bought a new car only for her to give it to that, to that David of a guy. Kanchara told you that madam bought a car and yes. gave it to... David. David? Yes, I saw them. David. Um, see, yeah. um, just manage your things. You know, I just looked at your size and I had to arrange these ones for you. Yeah? Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it. All right, don't worry, I'll get you more. Yeah? Thank you. Bye-bye. Yes, Philip, what do you want? As I'm talking to you now, I'm somewhere enjoying myself. Hey, listen, if you don't have better things to say, just get off the phone, okay? You know your husband is very happy with you. Over what? David. Hello? Hello? Are you there? What about David? Um. Why don't you start by uh, talking about the car you bought for him the other day? Listen, Philip, go to hell! And for you to have the nerves to threaten me in the first place! It is finally over for you. Did you hear me? Finally over! You are history, Philip! Don't worry, I took care of it. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Something came up. Sweetie, you sound upset. What's wrong? I am fine. Later, go speak to me. You obviously couldn't get the money I got. If you say something came up, yeah, right. Something came up. That Oga will follow you come back the other day. Uh huh. You dare forget? Can I open gate for now? No, I'll let him in. Thank you, ma. I remember the last time I gave in to a man without hesitation. I hope I know what I'm doing. Hi, my angel. Hey. How is my angel doing? I'm okay, I'm just relaxing. Uh-huh. Mm. <laughs> Did you miss me? What is going on in your mind? Well, um, I was just thinking that uh, I wanted to come and tell you that you are so very beautiful 
and you smell gorgeously nice. So I thought I'd bring you this little present and ask you to be my friend. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. But only on one condition. There's a condition? Okay. Alright, bring it on. I'm ready for whatever and down for whatever. Kiss my leg. <laughs> <laughs> Philip here. Uh, Philip, uh, yes, he came. What did you tell him? Nothing. No. He said he wanted to see you. You didn't tell him anything. No tell him anything. I saw Philip. And he told me of your little gossip. I didn't tell him anything. No. Yes, I know. You didn't tell him anything. It was David that told him he was here and that I bought him a new car. Adam, I'm sorry, please, I'm sorry. Jane, before I open my eyes, I want you to go in there, pick up your things and get out of my house. Oh, please, no, madam, please, I'm so sorry, please, I'm not doing Did you hear me? I said go in there and pick up all the miserable little things you came in here with and get out of my house. Please. You think you can come into my house and ruin my marriage? <laughs> you have something else going on there. If I go upstairs and I'm down and I meet you here... Um, I was just thinking about our business, that's all. Got me a little worried. Is anything wrong? Uh, yes and no. But it's, it's nothing I can't solve. You know, it's just, it's just gonna delay me a little bit. That's the annoying part. What is it? Bank. The bank, they, they denied my loan application. Can you believe that? And I'm sure it has to do with the person I'm doing the business with because the guy wants to steal my ID. But you can't let that happen. Exactly. So I need to find the funds. I need to find the money. But I'm a handicap. Where am I going to get the money from? Hey, sweetie. And, and, and he works with a bank. He has the money. I'm sure he will do the business before I start. I'm sorry. I wish I could help you, you know. Sorry. Sweetie, you can help. You know, you could... You could go to your parents, talk to them. I mean, your mommy's daughter, come on. You know, flash a smile. Ask them, you know, if they can just pay like a part, it's fine. I know you must have heard I come from a very wealthy family. Yeah. You see, I'm very independent. Come on. I don't even go to them for anything. But listen, it's fine, it's cool. I mean, if you don't want to go to them for help, I understand, fine. It's just been a house now. Go and talk to friends, bring them in the business, more people. My profit is going to be lowered. That will be better than letting somebody steal your business idea. No, more people means less percentage, less profit share, more problems. You don't get it. Listen, listen. I have 30 million naira. Now you're talking. That is a far cry from 500 million naira. I know, it's a far cry. But, you know, 
a little here, a little there, it's fine. It reduces our risk and that's, that works for me. You know, 30 here, 10 here, 5 here. Come on, sweetie, it's, it's fine. Okay, um, tell me, how much money did you have? Who? Me? Oh, um, I, I did some calculations last night. Um, let me see, after doing check and balances, I should have about... Um, about 400 million naira. Not, not cash, not cash, you know. But uh, hard cash should be about um, 10, 20 million in, in that range, they're about, you know. Disappointed in Philip. You know, I have come to truly trust him. Not only trusting him, I have also come to rely on him so much. Well, it's not as if I'm suggesting you fire him. But all I am saying is that I don't want him to enter this compound again. Philip. But how can Philip do such a thing? I mean, sleeping with my house help in my own house. Which means he can use that to get information about us. And you know how dangerous that can be, especially to you. Yes. Uh, by the way, where is that foolish girl? I sent the filter thing out already. Good. You did very well. Um, as for Philip, you brought him to me, so what do you want? What do we do to him? Mm. Well, it's... You know, as much as I wanted to help him out, yeah, but... It's certainly not for him to destroy us, right? Oh, yes. Certainly not for him to destroy us. He dare not. He cannot. I will not allow that. Now, set the table for me. Let me eat. I think I can handle that. Okay, honey. I'll handle that. Baby, you know what I think? What do you think? We need to plan less about this wedding. Hey, baby, how many times will I tell you? See, I can't plan less on my wedding. See, I'm a big boy and I want people to know I'm a big boy, so my wedding has to have a class. Baby, I understand, okay? But we have to itemize everything. We have to cut up all the things that are not necessary, all right? Okay. Who could that be? Let me get it, Uncle. Was it not you? What did I do? Did you not tell her about David? Eh? Did you not? See, see, even if I told her about him, will I be mad to mention your name? Am I mad? See, there's no point. I've been, I've been fired. I've been sent away. Yeah, sorry, eh? Sorry. Uh, what, what is it? Wait a day. What? Sir, just, just manage this for instance and pay your transport. No, now. I thought you promised to marry me now. You say you marry me. Please, I don't have any place. I promise to marry you. I, are you mad? Huh? I, I, are you mad? I promise to marry you. Please, now. Please, now. Don't do this to me now. Please. Please, now. Please, now. Please, now. Please, now. Please, now. Please, 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 she came here, she stole something and I believe they fired her. 
she came here and is now telling me that she wants to live with us. Here? A thief wants to stay with us. Imagine. Baby, it's not possible. Just go back and tell her it's not possible. I I've already told her that one. Better. Can you imagine? You know what? I know somebody who can help us raise the money. But how to convince him is the problem. I, I, I'm good at talking. Uh, you want me to meet up with him with a proposal? No, he wouldn't meet you. Why? Okay. Let me open up to you. Uh -huh. He's my lover. But listen, immediately this works out, I'll just show him the door. I'm jealous, okay? I mean, how can you tell me he's your lover? You know, you know what? Okay. Business is business. What do you want done? Listen, I have to prove to him that I have some money on my own before he believes me. You just told me you had 30 million naira. What are you saying? Sorry, I forgot. Okay, I spent part of that money I told you I had. But just listen. I want you to transfer the 20 million naira or whatever money you said you have into my account. Okay? And when that is done, I'll go and see him. Okay, and listen. This guy is fully loaded. Are you, are you sure about this, your friend? Because this, this, this whole thing is... I'm, I'm, I don't know. Listen, you don't have to worry, okay? I'm a woman. I know how to play my game. is very irrelevant. Tomorrow, you go to the office, meet the manager, who will calculate the financial implications of firing you. Did you get that? Yes. But sir, at least let me know the crime I've committed, sir. That will be all for now. Leave my house this moment. Leave! Thank you, sir. personal assistant anymore but don't worry about that okay I will get you a reliable personal assistant and I'll get you someone that will not only be so hardworking and trustworthy to you but someone that will lay his life for you if you can just do that that's exactly what I want <laughs> I want such PA that is that can work with me as an uh, aspiring senator. Don't worry about that. You'll give it to me? Trust me. All right, that's my baby. <laughs> I love you.
Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. A lady just walked in here and she forgot something in my car. I really like to give it back to her. Then why don't you just call her phone? If I have a number, I don't think I should be asking you. I'm sorry, sir. We don't walk that way. Okay. Just have this for your troubles, okay? I really need to see her. Sir, this is against our policy. Please, whatever thing you have with her, you can go outside and wait for her. See, I really need to see this lady, okay? We have a relationship and, and I don't know, I, I just want to see her, please. I cannot take it from you. You can go outside and wait for her. Thank you. been in some deep hell. Hi! I've been calling you. Uh, I think I left my phone upstairs in the room. What's up? What's up? What's happening? What's happening? Okay, well, he's agreed to help us. Fantastic! <laughs> so, what is it? What's the problem? You see, he asked me to open a new account and deposit 50 million naira in it. And when that is done, he'll instruct the bank to make a draft of 450 million naira. So what's the problem with that? Let's come on, let's go open an account. I've already done that, but we only have 40 million naira. Obviously, you forgot me completely. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, really. I meant to call you earlier on. I just, I kind of forgot again. I'm sorry. That is because I'm not important. No, don't say that. Don't talk like that. You are very important to me. 
all right it's it's just that i'm so worried and confused worried about what what's troubling you <sighs> it's not important Meanwhile, um, how, how is your health? I'm fine. I'm okay. But answer my question. What is troubling you? I said it's not important. Just let it go. I know it has to do with money. But you know you can always count on me. I know I can always count on you, but not this time around. Not the kind of money that I need. How much? Ten million naira. That's a lot of money. What do you need that for? The... There was this business opportunity that came up in my office and I really wanted to invest in it and I was... You know what, just just forget, okay? I'll, I'll handle it. I can help you. Really? It, it's, you know, it's alright. It's okay. I'll, I'll just deal with it. I'll handle it my own way. Um, meanwhile, how are you coping? I'm fine. Just missing you. Yeah. I'll tell you what. I will come and visit you. I'll come and visit you soon. Okay. Thank you. Bye. To the detriment of our venture. Do you know what is happening here? What is it? I need you to call up your account officer. Confirm with him that I've paid him 20 million naira. Then please go and see that old man of yours as soon as possible. We don't have time. I only have one thing on my mind. What is that? That is marriage. Marriage? How can you talk about marriage now? I've paid the money to your account. Go see that old man. Let's get this business thing sorted out. You say marriage. Talk about marriage later. You have paid the money into my account. That is it. That is final. Okay? You're the man I want to spend the rest of my life with. Zainab, 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 Zainab. I understand, okay? I love you and everything. I'm happy to be your husband. But please, I, let's, let's talk about the money now, okay? We'll talk about the money later on. Yeah. You're You don't understand. What is all this? Yeah. Hey! You don't happen. Fist off. Mm -hmm. You don't happen. It don't happen. Eh, you see what you see? Huh? Salako, what do you come to see again now? Nah? Uh, you they see on your own. Me, ma, I they see on my own now. Nah? <laughs> so I'm not being to see your own mother. Hmm, Fistos. Hmm? Big Wala. They. But they suspect our mother. Hmm? I did with her yesterday when she saw the. What now? I can't run now. This is for you. First, this. This is a gesture for the settlement of your loyalty to me. So, Lako, I want you to use this to start a new life. I appreciate all your services and loyalty to me. This is because I'm traveling overseas. And Festus, I've sold this house to a new owner. He'll be coming in two days' time, so you'd have to wait for him before you pack your things out of the house. Okay? Why don't you help me get my bags? Hi, you don't have to. You don't have to. Hi! Hi! You don't have one. Hi! Hi! My Papa. You don't have one. I am coming. Papa, also.
How are you? I'm fine. Philip brought this. Oh, Philip. Philip? Yes, sir. I see. Did any other person do for me? No, sir. Play this CD and understand the woman you're married to. The second movement is a wife leaving the hotel with her boyfriend, settle down and watch the way she's publicly kissing him. Jesus! I know this will take you by surprise, but this is truly who your wife is. No! No! Jesus Christ! My God! What has God over you? I'm sorry, sir, but she was my girlfriend for many years. Now she has a new guy named David. Sir, grind her like a politician, and you will discover she has been withdrawing huge sum of amount to maintain the same David. I would not take this. I want a way to pay me back. Listen to me, young woman. Shouting is not going to help you. You're going to the airport and route to Europe with a cash amount in excess of $300,000. I want to know what you do for a living. Officer, why are you browsing me for nothing? Listen, I'm a bona fide citizen of this country and I have the right to move around without any hindrance from anybody. Why are you still holding me here? I am holding you here because I have reasons to believe that you are into money laundering. Officer, you know what? You are wrong. I'm not into money laundering. You told me you are not a businesswoman. I want to know where you got the huge amount that was stuck in your luggages. You know what? I'm just sick and tired of this country. Nothing really works in this country. Politicians are always inventing new lines of lies. Whereas the average common man is left in his miserable life of penury. I've told you I sold all my property and I'm relocating to another country. What is it? Madam, you are under arrest. I beg your pardon? Under arrest for what? And when did it become a crime for a citizen of this country to sell her properties and relocate to another country? We are going to investigate everything you have said. Your trip to Europe will be suspended until we are sure of where you got the amount of money that was found with you. Officer, you see, I understand what you're saying. But I can't be in this country. My life is at stake here. Officer, please. You know what? Let me just give you a thousand dollars, okay? Please, let me continue hey, my journey. Hey. Officer, please. Madam, bribery is not an option. This is a crime for anybody to move money from this country illegally. Now move. Officer, officer please. Officer, please. Officer, listen now. Officer. 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 Thank you. Officer. 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 Officer
Why would you let me go? Let me go. You explain yourself. Officer, then. please, let me go. I beg, officer. You, will, you are in oh, trouble. Officer. I thought you traveled together. What did you say? I mean, Madam has traveled uh, abroad now. And, uh, I mean, this has where it is. So, Madam, don't sell her more. Don't sell everything. Me, first thing tomorrow morning, I don't go to my village. What, what, what did you say? <laughs> okay, if I say, my Madam, where you know before, now, you know before you go, me, tomorrow morning, I don't pack my bag, they go. She will tell you. This one, my love, I've been a madness though. She never came in. Hey, <laughs> this one, uh, I'm like, I wonder. <laughs> Sorry, sir. <laughs> you everything. Why? Why do you have to treat me this way? What did I do to you? Honey, I don't understand. You don't understand what? You don't know what I'm talking about. Well, I will tell you. I'm talking about you and your lovers. Lovers? You don't ask me further questions. Now go and put on that CD. Now sit and watch. Why are you behaving like an imbecile? Where is Zainab? Uh, Oga, uh, 
I don't know how to say it, sir. Don't just know how to say it. I don't even want to say it to say because you, you are not an orator. But just try and tell me her whereabouts. Okay, are you aware that she sold everything? Come again? I said, are you aware that she sold everything? Like what and what? Uh -huh. She settled Salako and myself and uh, asked me to... Uh, in fact, okay, she, she sold everything, both the car, the house, the... I hope you're not trying to play play games with me because I, I'm going to kill you before your time. Okay, I... I... Okay, okay, I'm not playing games with you. I'm just telling you the truth. I know it's a big play ball. Just that she, she, she traveled overseas. I'm just telling you the truth. I know. Who is the idiot that will buy a house that I built with my money? In my name, and the documents are still very much in touch with me. Who is this bastard? Oh, that, she, she didn't tell me the buyer. All, all, all I know, she just asked me to wait. That I should wait for the owner to go. I don't know, know the person. Okay, I don't okay. feel like. Where is Salako? Eh? Yes. Oh, guys, Salako. Now I don't travel, go back Pack it back with small money with my dad. Give him. See me go find Papa go face. Okay. You know what happened? Tell whoever that cares to listen that this house still remains the bona fide property of Chibogo City. They need trust that we dealt with accordingly. All right? God bless you, sir. Good day. brother's wife. <laughs> David, um, is it true? Just go inside and I will explain to you, okay? Don't listen to this boy. He is a liar. Oh, damn. Hey, <laughs> Salako! <laughs> hey, you look good. How are you? I'm fine. I right know. Didn't you talk to you about now? Oh, no, no. You see, I'm around. I'm around. You know, just trying to make things happen. Okay. <laughs> In that case, I'm going I'm coming to your house tomorrow. Look. Yes, wait. Maybe we just call him. I'm going to meet you. Where are you? Hi. I'll okay, I'll see you. I'll see you. Uh, All right. Oh my God. So this is what I sacrificed my marriage for. Salako. 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 No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Salako. Please. Salako. Please. You know, I gave the officer who arrested me a thousand dollars and he refused. But now that I'm before you, the DPO, I can increase the amount. Please, just let me go. Yo, there is a way you talk that makes me think you don't understand the gravity of the offense you've committed. Now, let's help ourselves. Open up. Did you steal the money? Officer, I did not steal the money. I already told the police officer who arrested me that I sold all my property. And I was on my way to Europe when he arrested me, officer. I'm not a thief. Now, could you show me the location of those properties you sold to raise $320,000? Officer, 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 please, just give me 300000 US dollars and then some police escorts to take me to the airport so that I can continue my journey to Europe. And then you can take the $20,000. You see, I'm not a difficult woman. 
<laughs> do you know what I can do? I now understand. I will take you to the EFCC. I think they are better disposed to handle your case. I'm trying for money laundering. Sir, please. What have I done? Ever since I got here, I haven't disrespected you. Please. Let's just negotiate, okay? Let's resolve this matter. I'm ready to pay anything. Okay? I just don't want to go and face the EFCC for anything. Please. Police is your friend. And I believe you know that that is why you're here. I want you to tell me your problems so that I can assess it critically and come up with a solution. Officers, I am not saying as if I am down to show. But I have every reason to suspect that I have this window. You are repeating the same thing you told me over and over again. I want you to tell me the nature of the swindle and those involved. Okay, you listen. I bought a house from a lady who suddenly said that she got tired of this country and wanted to relocate to another country. I paid her a whopping 25 million naira for a duplex. And she handed me all the documents that are purportedly, documents that were purportedly relating to the house. That she sold to me, or documents that purportedly were the documents for the house. But what I have just found out is that all these documents that she handed over to me were all forged. The original owner of the house has secured a perpetual court injunction, restraining me from even entering the, the compound. No, tell me, officers, is that not forged? Is this not what the course window? Who is this lady? Her name is Zainab. Yeah, Zainab. I have known her for like four or five years now. Um, that means uh, this Zainab in question, if you see her in person, you'll be able to identify her. Officers, I know Zainab too well. Even if I am drunk and you present Zainab in the midst of 20 other women, I will be able to pick Zaina. I know her. I'm talking about a girl that I have, I have, I have dated with her on the other side. You know what I'm saying? I know her well. My only problem is that I still don't understand why she will decide to swallow me. And that's why I'm here. Okay, uh, this one, that is all. Let me give you this one. You put down everything you told me. I will write it down. Give me big knife. Give person paper. Give the person big. I'm coming. Please, sir. I beg you. The young man is a very good friend of mine. And I've grown to be so attached to him. Please. Well, well, well. Young woman. You see, I am sorry. I have no business with her personal life. We are talking about crime here. Eh? And we are still investigating. I know you're still investigating, sir. But I beg you to please trust me enough to hand him over to me on bail. I promise to bring him here whenever you need him. That he is still in police custody gives me so much cause for concern. I'm really worried. Sorry, I'm not going to release him. Until he tells us where he kept the 20 million that he collected from the complainant. In fact, he is even lucky the woman in question is not ready to press charges. So, sir. Sorry to interrupt you, sir. But we have an interesting lead, sir. Lead? I mean, what kind of lead? There's a link between the money that was swindled from Jessica and the one that was found with the plane on Patriotic Zena. Look, look, officer. I don't understand. Sir. He confirmed to me that he paid the exact 20 million naira into Zena's account. Zena was to help him get someone to give him a loan for a business, but she proved to be a fraud. She sold the house which she was living at, which wasn't actually hers, and was fleeing to Europe by the time we apprehended her with the money. Look, how was she able to sell a house that was not hers? She forged the documents, sir. The two of them are criminals. 
But Zena proved to be a bigger criminal. Please, sir. Can I see Jeff now? What exactly do you take me for? An idiot without acumen or what? I give you a house to help you. A duplex. A house that you should yield me three million naira annually. And all you did was a forge documents to sell my house. You are going to perish in jail. But what is your business if I perish in jail? Chief, you'll be very sorry. I will never. I will make sure that you pay very much every maximum penalty for your sins. And also prove to you that I'm Chief Oko CC and nobody plays games with me and goes free. Chief Oko CC, why don't you go to your house and stop asking of me? I have credible men scattered all over the country and credible men are coming for me. We shall see. Tibio, excuse me. Uh, Chief, uh, please take it easy. Eh? We are on it. Is money without happiness? I cannot blame Jeff in all this because I was the one that planted the evil seed in him. I blame myself completely. I blame my lust. Look at me now. I have lost my marriage and I have lost my pride as a woman. You know what they say? A friend in need is a friend indeed. Why do you say that? Because you were there for me when I needed a friend most. Sorry for the pain I caused you. And all the nasty things I did. I've learned my lesson the hard way. I love you very much. Jeff. I love you. I love you so much. You gave me a shoulder to cry on when I needed one. You brought back smiles to my face. You gave me gifts. Breakfast in bed. I love you. I love you so much. 